Hello there YouTube, this is Speed for Lol and I am going to review something that you don't really expect already. You haven't seen anything like that before from me, but I think I'll just stop talking and get on with it. And as you see, it's been snowing around here. No, just kidding, that's just pieces of paper. Also, background, previews. And now let's move on with a review. This review is going to be about my Lego Transformer right out. Right there. This one is actually one of the many that uses the name Ride Out and he always has been like this yeah, configuration like the same transformation basically. So this guy, we got him here in his car mode, as you see, and to go short, he's the Batmobile in red, grey, and white. And, yeah, there we go, he's got flames on the front, as you see, pretty cool. Wheels, <laughs> obviously, um, four small gun barrels over the roof, and lots of independently moving little dirt around here as you see right there that moves up down moves up and down moves up and down everything right there moves up and down pretty cool also massive wings and two big boosters between the wheels and this guy here is a triple changer now let's move on to the other mode other vehicle mode. What you want to do is you want to first you want to pick him up here and you want to pull this wheel out like so and then just fold it forward and push it back in so it's locked right there. Then exactly the same on the other side like so and just push it back in and we got a lock wheel right there so it cannot roll anymore now what you want to do is you want to take this whole section here and you want to use this hinge for it to just swivel backwards like so so you've got one big wing and do the same on the other side then take this spoiler piece and just flip it up and take this door piece here flip that up and rotate it down so flip up the spoiler and then the other side of the spoiler goes down automatically to form another piece of the wing just push it up and bring it down and flip down the spoiler and if you want flip to flip out the gun barrels here and now it's going to be a bit more tricky to get on camera I think you want to come under here and grab one of those turn this piece around and refit it on there so you've got that that's gonna be the landing gear of the plane yeah it's got an aircraft mode that's gonna be the landing gear of the aircraft mode and just situate it up like so so you've got some pieces right there and now you wanna Come to the front here, bring this out, pull the wheel back, like so, and disconnect this one, and rotate it around, like so, and just let it hang loose there for a while. Just straighten out this piece, um, flip this piece around, right there and open up the hand cover and flip the arm all the way back and then just connect it to the leg so let's get this on camera there we go Dead. done oh, don't pop off now just close up the hand cover as far as possible and then go ahead and turn the wheel right there and just push it in and lock it in doesn't really lock in there but oh well 
So take the wheel, pull it out, twist it around, straighten out the arm, flip the panel around, open up the hand cover, flip the arm around and connect it to the leg, right there, and just push that hand cover down as well. Get this panel right there situated and get the wheel situated. And there we go. We got him in his jet mode. And as you see, he's much more jet like than the car mode. Huh. Obviously, way sleeker, way pointier nose. He's got the big wings. The wheels don't touch the ground anymore. And they've become boosters or something like that. Pretty cool. Right, now let's move on to the transformation to robot mode. And this is going to take a while, I think. But oh well, let's give it a shot. First you wanna untap these again. Just pull them out, like so. There you go, and then disconnect the arms again, and don't pop off now, bring them out, and rotate it 180, like so, there you go, that's easy, now I wanna just bring the wheel down a little. Just bring the arm forward, like so, and just rotate the forearm all the way 90 degrees, like so, and then just make sure nothing pops off again, and the, situate the panels up. Then I'm gonna open up the hand like so and rotate it around there we go oh yeah I like to bend the elbows a bit alright exactly the same on the other side yay there we go open up hand cover flip up panel um come on disconnect arm and panel falls off does it have to fall off it just falls off yeah, it loves to fall off. That's the only issue about that panel. Just like that. 180. Like so. Bring forward. Rotate wheel around and push in. Forgot on the other side, but oh well. Just rotate forearm. And open hand. And there we go. We got the arms done. Now flip these pieces up, like so, and then disconnect this piece here, and just see his head in there. Now what you want to do under here is you want to take this piece and just bring it out, and you want to take these pieces Rotate them up like so. Just rotate them all the way up to get them out of the way. Flip up the spoiler. And there we go, we got a popping off wheel. And you wanna just refit that wheel, damn it. There we go. And just flip up the spoiler piece here, as you see, just flip it up, rotate it up, like so, and rotate the legs down. There we go. Rotate the lower legs around, and flip up the feet, and rotate these pieces, like so, and then you want to bring this whole section down. 
pretty cool. And then flip these pieces up and bring them down. Situate the wing back like so, and there you got him in robot mode. Let's just put him back. There you go. Pretty cool. Alright, now he's got weapons. Which I, oh yeah. Rotate the boosters down on the legs. So, just so he can fly around if he wants to. Alright, there we go. He's got weapons stored on his back. He's got blades. Well, which are actually pieces of the spider right here. Just disconnect them from there and pull them out like so. And then just put it in his hand and close up the thumb. And close up the little finger and then just position this one however you want. There you go, that's one sword. Also, he's got a gun. Well, two guns actually. For which you wanna flip up the spoiler and just disconnect it from right here. Usually I just display him with the guns or the swords, but I'm gonna show you the gun and the sword at the same time because I'm running out of time right now so as you see he's got the sword and the gun and you can just position the backpack cable and the lots of panels that are hanging off you can just position them however you want because these are on ball joints these are just on ratchets that go every direction so he's got lots of turrets right here pretty neat head I think with a visor, as you see, double row of optic sensors. Looks pretty cool. But I'm out of time, so I'm signing off.